Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at how to set up an open directory for your Mac OS server. Now, open directory is a uh, directory that's built into server that allows you to do things like add users and add groups that contain local network accounts uh, that allow you to log into your server uh, remotely, uh, allows you to track those different users, uh, allows the users in some cases, depending on how you set it up, to actually log into their home folders that might be sitting on the server from any Mac that you have that is connected to the open directory of your server. And so it, it's required for a number of different services such as Profile Manager and those sorts of things. So uh, uh, open directory is uh, something that you may want to add uh, to your server if you're using more than just things like maybe Time Machine or VPN for yourself or something like that. So this is the open directory interface and uh, all we need to do to get started is just go ahead and throw the switch here. And what that does is that brings up a configuration wizard that walks us through how to set this up. Now you can see here we have uh, three different options. We have the option to create uh, a new open directory domain. Uh, which is to create a brand new one, which is what we're going to do today. We can join an existing Open Directory domain as a replica. And in doing that, that would mean that there's already an Open Directory domain that is set up. And what we're going to do is have this one copy that one and copy the information from it so that it can be an extension of the other Open uh, Directory domain. So that's, again, if you've got multiple servers, let's say, in an environment, uh, you could have a replica set up so that uh, the information is basically duplicated or shared uh, to the other one. Uh, or you can restore your Open Directory domain from an archive. Uh, so you can create an archive of your Open Directory once it's created as a backup. And then if you ever needed to, uh, let's say, destroy your Open Directory because it had problems, you could then add it back from another archive that you have set up, which is basically a backup. So we're going to leave it here on creating a new one and just say next. And then what it's going to do is ask for a directory administrator account. Now this is very important uh, because this is a separate username and password from what you have for your Mac and for your server. So it's another password to remember. So you want to make sure that you set up an account name and a password for your open directory that you remember because it is different. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a, uh, a new password and everything for this. Okay, once I have that information there, I can check to remember the password in my keychain uh, if you wanted to. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that alone and say next. So now it's going to ask for an organizational name and an email address. And this isn't necessary. It's just something that you could do uh, to help users identify your server. Uh, it's something that uh, organizations might do just to keep track of the information there and who to contact if there is a problem with uh, Open Directory that they need. So you can put in whatever you want there. So uh, I'm just going to uh, put in some information here. And put in an email address. And once I've done that, I can just click on Next. And so now it's saying, look, I'm going to set up uh, this open directory uh, with this information. Is this OK to do? And I'm just going to click on Setup. And so now it's going to create the Open Directory Master. You can see that it's working there, and it tells you what it's doing with the information down here. Now, sometimes this can take a little bit of time uh, to set this up. It all depends on the different processes and things that you have running. Uh, but it's going to go ahead and go through its uh, setup process here. And once it's done, we should basically have the switch uh, on with green, and it will fill in information about our Open Directory right in this space in here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run, and I will come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so my open directory was created, and so when you're done, you should have a screen that looks like this. Now, a couple of things that are important to recognize just to make sure everything was set up properly. Uh, you want to see your status as green and the on button on, and it should say that it's available at your 
uh, host name. So whatever your host name is, that should be showing up here, right? Uh, Server.example.com, for instance. Uh, down here is where you're going to see your servers with your open directory. You should, again, here see your server.example.com uh, or example.com, depending on how you set it up. And then you'll see that it's a master uh, open directory, and you should see your local IP address here. And then, uh, and then that will show you all the information. Now, if I just highlight this for a minute, now, there's a couple of things I can do. If I just hit this little icon here, I can right from here archive my open directory master. And that's something that I would recommend that you do once you get everything set up. Uh, you don't need to do it right this minute because we don't have anything in this open directory master. But I want to show you how this works. If I just click on this archive button here, I get this drop down where I can put an archive file in here where I can choose where I want to file it, where it's located. And then I put an archive password in here as well so that nobody can access it without putting a password in first. So that's just added security. Once I do that and I click Next, then it's going to save that archive wherever I chose to save it on my computer. And then that way I can access it again if I wanted to restore from an archive, uh, like you saw earlier when we did the setup. So in this case, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to cancel, but I wanted to show you how to make that happen. The other thing I can do is I can hit this uh, plus button right here if I wanted to. And what it would do is it would allow me to create a replica. And now what this would be is a, is a failover uh, for load balancing of Open Directory clients. Again, if you have more than one server, uh, where you would create this replica with all your server information and all of that. You have your parent server here, your directory admin, admin name and password, next, and then it would create that replica for you. Okay, I just wanted to show you that was there. So let's say cancel and come back to normal. And then, of course, if I hit this minus here, it would destroy my Open Directory Master so that I could start all over. And you would use that if you have problems uh, with your Open Directory. Now, down here, it shows the locales uh, that I've got. And notice I have all networks. If I just hit the little pencil here, I can come in and edit this to say I only want these particular client subnets. Uh, to connect to the server. So this would allow me to uh, limit it to certain subnets so that I didn't have too much crossover. Uh, again, that's something you would use more in a uh, business environment if you've got more than one server, but uh, it is something that is possible, and then I can just add other servers in here as well. It's going to go ahead and cancel that out. Uh, I can also add uh, a new locale as well to this whole situation and make that work as well. So that gives you an idea of how to set up Open Directory. Again, it's a pretty simple uh, service to set up, uh, but be sure that before you set any of this stuff up that your DNS is up and running and you got that working because if your DNS isn't working, then your Open Directory won't work and that'll cause all kinds of problems. So you just want to make sure that your DNS is checked. Before you run your Open Directory, make sure that it, it shows the things that uh, you ex you'd expect for your host name here, and then you're all ready to go to start putting things into that Open Directory. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have all kinds of problems going forward, and you're going to need to stop and start over. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.